IHGN Studios, it's Braves Beat. Hello Braves and welcome to our first episode of the year. I'm Dylan Condor. And I'm Rena Anderson. So Dylan, how does it feel that on, your, on my first day I'm already head anchor? Well Marina, you are just filling in for a sick co-anchor. Dylan, I don't believe you because Mr. Dubs told me that I would soon be taking over your spot as well. You're lying. Well, let's get on to the news. The Indian Hill School District cordially invites all members of the community to attend a ceremonial groundbreaking for the construction on the new Indian Hill Middle School, building at 4.30 p.m. on Tuesday, August 31st. The ceremony will take place near the courtyard between the Indian Hill Middle School and the Indian Hill High School. Additionally, the Indian Hill Foundation invites all Braves to join the demo kickoff festivities immediately following the formal groundbreaking ceremony. Help take down the first swings to tear down those walls by joining the raffle in the link in the description below. Again, this will take place Tuesday, August 31st, directly following the district's groundbreaking ceremony. You must be 16 years or older to be eligible and available at the time assigned. Winners will be randomly chosen and be notified by the end of the day. Lucy and Garrett talked about our new freshmen this year. Let's check it out. Welcome, Welcome all freshmen. freshmen. We hope you enjoyed your first official week of high school. We are so happy to have you here with us. We hope you've tried the cafeteria cookies. Heard the intriguing stories of Mr. Rieger's life. And enjoyed your first fun-filled MP time. Every year, the freshman class has their fair share of nerves while going into the first year of high school. But we hope to welcome you guys with open arms as we've been there before. The best piece of advice I can give you is to enjoy every moment and get involved. On that note, stay, stay classy, classy, Indian Hill. Hill. Very cool. The Indian Hill boys golf team won the Madeira Invitational at the Vineyard Shooting, a score of 296, first out of all 12 teams. Our favorite senior, Peter Shakley, led the Braves by placing first with a low score of 69. Finishing up sports, let's send it over to Aiden and Gino. Hey Braves, I'm Aiden Walton. And I'm Gino Cardosi. How you doing, Aiden? Chill, but do you know who's doing fantastic and outstanding? Our boys soccer team. Defeating Cincinnati Country Day 2-1 and Roger Bacon 6-1. Absolutely legendary. Girls Volleyball did well too. The girls played against the Olentangy Braves. How about that? Braves playing the Braves. Huh. Although they played well, they still lost 0-3. We know we're the better tribe. Dang, you know, I'm not feeling too hot after that last result, man. Oh, well, here's some good news. The Lady Braves defeated Walnut Hills on Tuesday night. Good job, field hockey. Good job. Way to go, Lady Braves. Now on to football. The football team had a hard-fought battle against the McNick Rockets last Friday, falling 28-13. Let's switch up the pace. The girls' soccer team showed up at Monroe High School last week. Sadly, they lost 0-4, but they will be playing away at Ross this Saturday and at home versus Wyoming next Wednesday. And we will have those intricate results on the program next week. Good luck, Lady Braves. Now to golf. Our boys team beat Lakota 145 to 163. Also, the girls showed dominance. The team finished the two conference matches with a 405, placing fourth out of seventh with a nice 190 team total. They're swinging in strong, speaking of that. Hey, how about girls tennis? Well, the girls tennis team started off strong and ended up losing to both Columbus Academy and Wellington School, but we will still have our place as the number one Division II school in tennis. Well, that's fantastic. And that's all the sports news we have for now. I'm Gino Cardosi. And I'm Aiden Walton. Back to you at the, at the news desk. Very epic and cool dudes. Indian Hill welcomes eight new faculty members to the IH family. Nicole Smith, David Lewis, Rob Starkley, Kim Richardson, Sarah Farrell, Karen Anderkin, Kate Moster, and Eric Kamini. Make sure to say hi if you see them in the halls. Attention students 16 and older, there is a critical need for blood donations right now. Please consider donating blood during your first blood drive of the year, this Wednesday, September 1st. You can sign up during any lunch bell. If you are under 18, please be sure to pick up a permission slip to donate and return it to the volunteers at each lunch. Hayden and Abe had the chance to talk about our first football game. Let's go check it out. Let's now take a look at last week's opening game report against McNick. Our stands were packed with loads of freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and of course your personal favorite Brave squad leading the seniors. Our cheerleaders led our student section in numerous chants where the freshmen had their first experience of getting booed. Hey, it builds character. Absolutely. Anyways, moving on, 
Our Braves fought hard with an exceptional pick by Cooper Weiler, amazing blocks by Joseph David, and of course, our favorite, one of the athletic trainers, Susan, who looked after our boys as they played. Antoine Peek also rushed for 14 attempts and 74 yards in total, with Ty Thorne ultimately leading the Braves with two touchdowns. Unfortunately, it ended in a heartbreaking loss as our dogmen could not stop the Nick Nick Rocket. Looking forward, your Braves will play Northwest tonight at Northwest. It's supposed to be a dogfight, so come out and show your support by wearing all red for a red out. Go Braves! That was a great story, boys. I love the enthusiasm. Annie Isferding, center back and captain of the Indian Hills girls soccer team, was named one of Ohio's top 21 high school girls soccer team players in 2021 by the Enquirer USA Today. She also committed to play soccer for John Hopkins this past Friday, so you see her in the halls. Be sure to say congratulations. Way to go, Annie. Lucy Megan had the chance to talk to Mrs. Epperson today, our new assistant principal. Let's check it out. Hello, Braves. My name is Lucy Megan, and today I have the honor to introduce Miss Amy Hepperson, our new assistant principal to our Indian Hill Braves family. Miss Epperson, welcome to our studio. Hi, Lucy. Thanks. It's a pleasure to be here. So, what brought you to Indian Hill High School? Well, as I'm sure you, you know, Indian Hill has a reputation for being a place of excellence and innovation. And so an opportunity to be here and work alongside the phenomenal staff and get to know all these incredible students is uh, not an opportunity that I could pass up. That's awesome. Can you give us a brief description of your professional resume? Sure, I think this is my 25th year in education. I taught for 23 years, um, all at the high school level. And then I decided to kind of switch things up a little bit and uh, switch to be an administrator. And so last year I worked as assistant principal at Tippecanoe High School in Tip City. So what do you think of our school so far? Oh, I think this place is just absolutely remarkable. Everybody is so kind and so hardworking. Um, the positive vibe is just unparalleled. That's very nice. Is there anything else you would like to add or say to our students or community? Uh, just that I look forward to getting to knowing everybody, and uh, if you need anything, don't hesitate to ask. Thanks, Ms. Epperson, for taking the time to visit our studio today. We are so happy to have you as a part of our Brave family. Now back to you at the news desk. Make sure to make her feel welcome in the Hollis Braves. We have a lot of important dates coming up in the couple of weeks, which you can see here next to me. I am personally excited for. So Dylan, how does it feel that a newbie did better than you today? Well Marina, you've been studying the script all day, so I guess you did just not, fine. Not really, but that's all the news we have for this week, Braves. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. And remember, stay classy Indian Hill! Hello Braves, today we'll be interviewing our Group A section of all of the students that will be participating this year as a quick interview to see if they're really qualified. Let's get into it. So, uh, Aiden, what makes you qualified to work here at Braves Beat? Can I call my agent? No. Well, I know the power of information. Information is power, and you have just given me the power to control information. <laughs> you fools have played right into my hands. Yeah, we're gonna make him do graphics. <laughs> I think the real question here is what makes you qualified to give me an interview about how good I am. I know that I'm good. I need to know if you're good. Uh, What's your resume, huh? You know, I really don't know. I'm just kind of here. You're here? Yeah. You're just here? Yeah. What are you going to be providing? Comedy. You're going to be providing comedy? Yes. What's your best joke? Knock knock. Who's there? Dishes. Dishes who? Dishes is a very bad joke. Creativity into the team. Okay. Which may or may not get out of control. Okay. Like the closest monster right behind you. That's Aiden. <laughs> 